my favorite things about covering the security clearance process is all of the questions that we get in. And while we get hundreds of questions in any given month, the answer to most of those questions is also, it depends. Hi, this is Lindy Kaiser with clearancejobs.com. And our team had a question last week that seems like it might be straightforward and cut and dry, but like everything with the security clearance process, because of the whole person concept, it is not quite that straightforward and cut and dry. So the question was, hey, can I obtain a security clearance if I'm on the terrorist screening database or TSDB? That's an FBI watch list to just keep track of potential domestic or international terrorists. It is not a list of known terrorists, it is not a list of known terrorist activity. Um, certain factors could flag you into that list even if you were actually not a terrorist. It is not a, a list of um, potential prosecutions. It's also different than the no-fly list, but it is a database of biographical data that can be shared across agencies. It's come under some scrutiny for accuracy. Um, it is not a, obviously a publicly available list. You're not going to get a postcard in the mail that says, hey, you're on the TSDB. So this individual, um, I'm not even sure if they know for a fact that they're on the TSDB. Um, maybe there's some speculation there. Maybe this is just a hypothetical. Maybe they're asking for a friend. But theoretically speaking, if you were on the terror screening database, no, that does not necessarily mean you won't be able to obtain a security clearance. No, I'm not crazy. The fact is, being on the TSDB is not outlined in the adjudicative guidelines as a precluder for obtaining a security clearance. Um, we here at Clearance Jobs are here to provide definitive information about the security clearance process and not speculation. Now, we can speculate if you were on the TSDB, maybe you have a criminal prosecution that might be an issue. Maybe you're not a U.S. citizen can't obtain a security clearance if you're not a U.S. citizen. There might be other factors, but definitively just being on that list per se would not preclude you from obtaining a security clearance. Theoretically, issues that put you on that list would likely need to be addressed before you were able to obtain a security clearance. Um, but again, because the accuracy of that list has actually come under scrutiny as well, there's just nothing that could say that. And again, Every factor with an individual is considered under the whole person concept. So you could even have criminal conduct or criminal activity that took place a decade ago that might have for some reason put you on the TSDB. Through passage of time, change in behavior, life circumstances showing that that you are a different person, that whole person concept is there to help you actually obtain um, security clearance eligibility if you need it. So again, like all things, it's pirate's code. Um, the guidelines are definitive, but how they are applied to individuals are, again, based on that whole person concept. And if it is not spelled out in the adjudicative guidelines as a preclusion for getting a security clearance, um, then do not screen yourself out of the process just because you think you're on the TSDB. So for more on this or to get your security clearance questions answered, you can visit us over at clearancejobs.com.